Use the crime summary data below to calculate the correlation coefficient for the variables percent unemployed and murder rate. Is there a linear relationship? If so, is it positive or negative? Also, calculate the coefficient of determination r squared for the problem above and interpret it. Okay, so we want to find the correlation coefficient r, and we're looking for the coefficient of determination r squared as well. Okay, so and then we're going to interpret r first before we do the coefficient of determination, and then we'll interpret the coefficient of determination once we've done calculating that. All right, so let's look at the calculation for r. For r, it's a simple fraction. The fraction involves ss xy and ss xx times ss yy all under the square root at the bottom here. Okay, so we have the summary values. We don't have the original data, but it came from a crime study and they were looking at two variables. The variable for the x was the percent unemployed and then the predicting y variable was the murder rate. So the idea is to see if there's a relationship between those two, a linear relationship. So SSXY turns out to be 196.001, and that will be divided by the square root of SSXX, which is 27.6855, times SSYY, which is 1855.202. All right, now, when we work that out, we'll come up with the answer for R. So we end up having 196.001 divided by the square root of 27.6855 times 1855.202. Close up the parentheses, hit enter, and we end up with the answer for R of 0 0.865. Okay, so 0 0.865 is a reasonably strong R value, which indicates that there is a reasonably strong positive linear relationship between the variables X and Y here. So the question here says, is there a linear relationship? I would say that this indicates a positive linear relationship. And they asked us if it's positive or negative. And again, because it's positive, it indicates a positive linear relationship. All right, the next thing we want to calculate is R squared. Remember, we could just square the R value here since we have it, but if we want to do it using the formula, we'll have the following um, formula to work out then. Basically, we're going to have the variation in y, which is the sum of squares for y, minus the sum of squares for error, divided by the sum of squares for y, y. So remember, this goes with the interpretation of r squared. We're basically looking at the variation in y subtracting away the variation in y that's due to the error term, and then that would leave the variation that's due to x, since our simple model for this equation involves using y as a, sorry, using x as a predictor of y, and the only other thing that affects y in our model is all the other stuff we haven't accounted for, which gets thrown into the error term. So we subtract off all the other things other than x from the variation in y. You essentially get the variation that's produced by x, right, in the model divided by the total variation that's present in y. And this will give us the proportion of variation in y that's explained by the inclusion of x in the model. Okay, so when we enter these numbers, we have to calculate SSE first. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember that SSE is SSYY minus SSXY quantity squared over SS xx. This is another way to write the same formula that we've used in the past. Okay, so we, we used it before as minus beta 1 hat times ssxy. This is exactly equivalent to that equation. So ssyy is 1855.202 minus the sum of square xy, which is 196.001 quantity squared divided by the sum of square for xx, which is 27.6855, 6855. All right, let's see what that turns out to be using our calculator. So we'll end up with 1855.202 minus 196.001 squared divided by 27. 6855, 6855. All right, hit enter and we get the answer 467.6022817, okay? All right, now let's enter that into our formula for R squared. We're going to end up with 
SSYY, which is the 1855.202, minus the sum of squares for error, which we found out was 467 dot dot dot, right? Divided by SSYY again, which is 1855.202. Now, I of course am not going to just use 467 in my calculation, I'll use the full decimal answer we have here. So I'm going to just type in 1855.202 minus the SSEE, which I still have in my calculator, so I'll just bring that down. Then I'll divide that result by the 1855.202. And when I'm done, I get the answer 0 0.748 approximately, 748 approximately. Okay, so if that's the case, then um, we say that roughly 75% of the variation you find in Y can be attributed to the inclusion of X in our linear regression model. So X is account, accounts for roughly 75% of the total sample variability we see in our Y variable. All right, so that's it. So that's our interpretation, and that means that X has a very important role in predicting Y. In this case, our X is the percent unemployment, so in other words, the unemployment rate has some predicting ability for the murder rate.